Enjoy watching. As the most populous country with almost one and a half billion people, China has an amazing culture, but even though it has the most people, it doesn't mean that all the habits, rules and customs of China are normal for everyone. From strange delicacies and wedding traditions, to reasons why the police use geese, let's explore the different oddities that will surprise you, but in China happen every day. Wow, situation. Sleep country. China is the second richest country in the world, so everything is geared towards success. But how do the Chinese stay so productive? What is their secret? It's very simple, in sleep. A good night's sleep is proven to improve concentration and learning, and also reduce stress levels. And if you get some sleep at the beginning of the day, it will improve mood, performance and vigilance, and the Chinese know this well. So much so that sleep, especially after dinner, is firmly rooted in their culture. They have a common saying that if you don't sleep at noon, you will collapse in the afternoon, therefore, the Chinese are often even encouraged to sleep during working hours in order to become more productive. Seriously, factories and offices in China allocate time for sleep after dinner? Why, it's all about the concept of 996, introduced in 2000, this is a job from a m to pm six days a week, such a schedule has contributed to the economic boom across the country. But although it includes a two-hour break during which you can sleep, agree, this is a very long working week, considering how the usual daytime siesta, now and then you can see people sleeping in a variety of places, from public transport and even to the store. This guy actually hung a hammock right in the subway, but these electricians get the prize for the most dangerous sleepy work, they tied themselves to power towers at a height of about 50 meters, and then lay down to take a nap. Climbing such high towers is incredibly difficult, and in order not to climb up and down, they stay at the top all day and come down only to eat, you have to really want to sleep for this. But such a dream is not only associated with work, the habit of sleeping during the day appears even in elementary school, take for example the children of Gosen Primary School in Shanxi Province, after lunch, the whole class lies down on their desks and a quiet hour begins. However, in one school in eastern China, children now sleep in tents because lying on a wooden desk leads to poor sleep and back problems. In any case, while sleep improves productivity, I doubt our superiors would approve of such an idea. One of our men almost got fired when he caught him sleeping. Red Sea, given that China's flag is red, it's no wonder it's an important color for the country. It symbolizes good luck and joy, and even drives away evil. However, there was no luck when the rivers turned red. Stretching for 6,300 km, the Yangtze River is the longest in China and the third longest in the world, however, in 2012, she suddenly acquired a red tint, why, no one could understand, although, it was suspected that this was the result of illegal dumping of waste. The main concentration of red was in Chongqing, a major industrial center in China, apparently, the water was dumped by some kind of industrial waste, because of which it acquired this ominous shade of red. Waste management has become a lucrative industry in China and the waste management market is expected to grow by as much as 7% from 2019 to 2024, companies can increase profits even more by hiring intermediaries. However, often the waste is transferred to a secondary intermediary and so on, until they are eventually dumped illegally, usually into some river, it was reported that in 2016 alone, nearly 10,000 tons of waste from Haining City alone was dumped into the Yangtze. But perhaps the strangest case occurred in 2013, when 16,000 pig corpses ended up in the river, it seems the unusual color of the river is still far from China's main problem. Watch your manners, if you eat like a Shrek, then you must have been told not to chew with your mouth open, not to smack your lips not to burp, and just not to dirty the table. However, in China, you would be praised for your behavior at the table. Here, slurping sounds while eating noodles and smacking is not just accepted, but is considered a compliment to the cook, and means that you really like the food, and if you feel like burping, don't be shy, because this is also a sign that you like everything. However, I don't like one part of table etiquette and this is the habit of spitting, 
which is often observed in Chinese restaurants, in many dishes there are small bones, seeds, peel and instead of picking them out, it used to be customary to simply spit everything on the floor. Spitting was once considered cleansing in China, so people still do it from time to time, but now it is no longer so accepted and cities like Guangzhou been spitting in public places and 2020, as long as it is not in my food. Heavy load. In 2018, China's merchandise trade exceeded $4 trillion, about 12.4% of global trade, but demand sometimes exceeds supply and vehicles in China are horribly overloaded with goods. In fact, according to the authorities, 80 of transport is overloaded, if you think I'm exaggerating, listen to this story. In 2019, two trucks were driving on an overpass in Jiangsu province, the first truck was carrying seven stacks of steel coils, and the second one was carrying six. That is, the total weight of the extremely heavy load exceeded 100 tons, the first truck managed to cross the overpass safely, but as the second truck approached, the entire structure suddenly collapsed, crushing the vehicles underneath. Fortunately, the truck driver escaped with injuries, but three other motorists unfortunately died, and this is not the first time this has happened, with an estimated 69 bridges collapsing between 2006 and 2016 due to overloaded vehicles, that's seven bridges a year. And more than one bridge collapses every two months, it's not normal, the authorities are tightening inspection rules to avoid new incidents, but judging by photos like this, people do not seem to care about the risks posed by overloaded transport in China, there are at least 50 chairs. Pin in the neck. The Chinese army is the third largest in the world, so it is not surprising that everything is strict in it, however, some customs go too far, for example, the famous combat stance is used in most armies of the world. This is when the soldiers stand with their chins raised, their chests puffed out, their shoulders squared and their stomachs pulled in, but in China they are not going to take risks and a very cruel method is used to make the soldiers stand upright. There are many photographs in which a pin sticks out of the collar of soldiers, if the soldier slouches a little or relaxes, the pin will prick him, but maybe that's not such a bad idea, here many people have a posture like Kazimoto. Goose police. Cops always have to be ready for anything, which is why one police force in China uses big guns, or rather big geese. Seriously, the police in Xinjiang have recruited flocks of geese into their ranks, why was it needed? Geese are vigilant animals due to their territorial nature, much like watchdogs but with wings. In October 2021, the Goose Army stretched for 480 kilometers to prevent illegal migrants from bringing any diseases. And in December 2021, one goose began to scream, the rest of the flock began to make noise after it, and the police caught two people trying to cross the border, haha, -ha. hooray, respect elders. From neighbor gossip to clothing store discounts, visiting your parents isn't always fun, however, in China it is the real law, yes, according to the law on the protection of the rights and interests of the elderly, which was adopted back in 2013. If parents are over 60, their children are required to visit them. In addition, Article 11 of the second chapter prescribes that the children of the elderly should provide for them, take care of them, comfort and satisfy special needs, but no one monitors this. And because of the vague language, many people criticized this law, really, what does special needs mean, soften food, walk dogs or become a footstool? Be that as it may, if the children do not visit, their parents can apply for mediation or even go to court, but if the child does not want to come even despite the law, nothing will convince him. Do you love your parents? Once upon a time, we humans foraged mountains high and valleys low in order to appease our rumbling tummies. These days, all we need worry about this scavenging the aisles of Walmart, and while that can be just as wild at times, you can bet that all the food in grocery store is saved to eat, right? Well, uh, Let's just say that this video will give you a lot of food for thought. Take this for example. Have you ever noticed a weird wild spot on your banana? Well, I sincerely hope not, as the truth about this white spot and the other horrifying food-based revelations we have got in store 
will truly make your skin crawl. So what are these strange little mounds, and why should you be concerned? Well, these little white growths are actually the nests of spiders, and not just any spider, the Brazilian wandering spider, Aka the world's most venomous. Their bite is so toxic that it instantly attacks the nervous system, causing nausea, blurred vision, excruciating pain, and ultimately, death. Rarely will you find them outside of their South American homeland, but due to their love of hiding in dark, moist places, they occasionally smuggle themselves between bananas, where they make the journeys from the tropical regions they're harvested into your local grocery store and eventually, your home. In fact, in 2013, a British family had to evacuate their London home as dozens of the deadly spiders sprouted from their bananas. 29-year-old Concy Taylor was midway through eating a banana when she spotted a suspicious white spot on the fruit. Mold, she initially assumed, but on closer inspection, she was horrified to see tiny spiders dropping out onto the table and scurrying around. The tailor fled to safely and had their home fumigated of these deadly spiderlings. Luckily, even in their natural habitat, only one in 500 spiderlings of this species make it to adulthood, and their fangs aren't strong enough to pierce human flesh until the mature, meaning any real danger was fairly unlikely. Still, I don't think L had have peace of mind until I knew each and every one of the little eight-legged lurkers were disposed of. Okay, so finding a nest of baby spiders is scary, sure. But imagine finding a more developed Brazilian wandering spider along for the journey. Well, this horror story became a reality for a Staten Island family in 2016, as they returned from the grocery store with a little more than they had bargained for. I'll let you see for yourself. If that were me, then let's just say this spider would be very flat and stuck on the bottom of my shoe. The breed of this grizzly spider is unconfirmed, though being from South America, it's likely one of those venomous Brazilian wandering spiders, seemingly the only one of its brood that reached adolescence in its little egg sac apartment. Considering the bite from one of these can ultimately lead to death, the only rational choice here would be to burn the banana and the house along with it, for good measure. And that's all the time we have for today, folks. If of this fact left you particularly grossed out, then let me know down in the comments and share your own if you have any. And as always, thanks for watching.